G'day guys, it's been a while since I put out a video, but I wanted to share something with you. You know, sometimes I'm asked by people, what do you say when someone just tells you a whole bunch of stuff? They've got all this stuff going on and they just come and dump it in your lap. And they say, I don't know how to even begin to respond. I want to say that the number one thing that we always do when someone is telling us what it's like for them is we want to acknowledge and validate what they're feeling. It's so powerful. I want to give you an example. My wife's grandmother, about three months ago, went into a nursing home. She'd had a fall at home and gone to hospital, and it was determined it was no longer safe for her to be at home, that she was better off placed in a nursing home. She is 98 years of age. I went to visit her about six weeks ago with my mother-in-law, and I observed this conversation. My wife's nana was saying, I don't like it here. I want to go home. Really, the staff don't come near me. I'm bored and I don't feel safe here. My mother-in-law responded, don't be silly. This is a safe place for you. And it's so nice and the staff are lovely and they bring you three meals a day. You don't have to cook for yourself anymore. And she said, I just don't want to be here. Please take me home. I miss my house. I miss my garden and I miss my friends. And again, the response from my mother-in-law was, this is your home now. And it's lovely. They have all these activities on. You're going to make some wonderful friends. I mean, look today at two o'clock, there's bingo. And the conversation went on like this for about a minute longer. And then Nana took my mother-in-law's face in her hands and she said, listen, please just listen. It was very powerful to watch. I said to my mother-in-law on the way home, I said, mother, why was it so hard for you to just accept and hear what Nana was saying? And she said, well, that's not going to do any good. That's just going to make things worse if I agree with her. And I said, no, you can't make it worse. You can't make it worse for her than after 50 years of being in that home, a home she raised a family in, a home that her husband died in, a home where she's loved that garden for 50 years and she has friends for nearly as long living around her. You can't make it worse by anything you say. Because the worst thing for her is to be just pulled out of her home, the place where she feels safe, Everything's so familiar, so many wonderful memories and just put in a nursing home, regardless of how nice the nursing home is. It's interesting. A few days later, my father-in-law had come home and, and he was asked, you know, how's your mum going? And he said, oh, the same thing. She wants to go home. She, she misses her house. But I just tell her, mum, this is your home. That you can't go home anymore because it's not safe for you. And, and I remember saying to him, Graham, next time your mum says something like this, just validate how she feels. Let me give you an example. I said, remember how you were having some issues about the will with your sister and it was causing you a lot of anxiety? What if someone at that time had said to you, don't worry about it. It's not important. It all gets sorted out. It wouldn't have been much help because it was a highly anxious time for you. Now, interestingly, the next day, my father-in-law, Graham, said to me, I'm off to see mum and I haven't forgot what you said. I'll make sure I lie to her. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, when she says, I want to go home, I'll say, yes, I'm taking you home. And I said, no, Graham, that's not what I said. I didn't say lie to her. What I said was validate and acknowledge how she feels. So when she says, I don't like it here, I want to go home, I miss my home, you simply acknowledge that. I can hear in your voice how sad you are and heartbroken that you can't be at your home anymore. I hear that. It's really, really sad. That's all we have to do. Guys, when someone in your life shares something with you, especially meaningfully, 
It's something really important to them, something they're going through. The first thing you want to do is acknowledge and validate those feelings. And after that, just listen to them and do the things that I've spoken about in other videos. All right. God bless.